What's up, everybody? This is JR. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I don't know why somebody messaging me. It's been a while since I did a live here, but I'm just doing this live video in reference to a interview that I just watched. And a lot of the videos I've been doing lately are about interviews that I'm watching where people are talking about relationships and things like that. And this one happens to be about an interview that I watched about Kalita Smith. And in this video, this interview, she was talking, she was asked about marriage. And basically, even before that, she was, what's happening, man? Even before that, she was asked about, um, got my whole background showed in the mirror. She was asked about Eartha Kitt. And many of you may have seen a video or know who Eartha Kitt is, obviously. She was, she was Catwoman back in the 50s or 60s, whatever that was. And, um... You know, she was asked about her idea or her thoughts about relationship, relationships and marriage and things like that. And she basically is along the lines of basically how a lot of men tend to think. And this is kind of like what Kalita Smith was saying in the interview was that, you know, she's just in it for the experience and a man should be happy or she's going to do her at the end of the day and things about compromising and stuff like that. So she's doing her own version of MGTOW, so to speak for women. So Kalita Smith, like I said, she was asked about this and Eartha Kitt seems to be one of her idols that she's talking about. And when she's asked about, you know, marriage and monogamy, she says something interesting, which, I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of women wouldn't really be feeling, but you know who knows. As you get old, up in age or you get older, more so into the 40s and 50s, or if you're divorced, and a lot of us, a lot of men, especially the men who follow MGTOW and Red Pill, you know, Red Pill Awakening and stuff like that, are among this mindset. But it's very rare, a lot of times, to come across a woman who just thinks that marriage isn't really what it what you want it to be or what you think it should be. And she, she says a quote. And the reason why I want to do this video is because of the quote that she says. And I want a lot of people to understand this because it's the truth. And you come to this as you get older, whether you're in your late thirties, your forties or your fifties, the quote is, she says, it's not until you get in your forties and fifties or thirties or some of us who are even earlier, that you realize that you don't care, that you don't care. And that's one part of it. You don't care that you don't care. And you care enough about yourself to take care of you. You know what I mean? What's up? What's up, Mark Anthony? Nepotism. Yeah. So you care enough about you to take care of you. So... For those of us, a lot of a lot of dudes are desperate to be with, and this this isn't a video necessarily for for men, and this is a, a video. This is for everybody. A lot of men tend to get infatuated with a certain woman, and they feel like the only way to keep her, and which is which is I guess is something that you would say. The only way to keep her is to is to marry her, even though that's really the wrong reason with infatuation leading to that where you feel like you just have to marry this person women tend to want to get married because society i mean society tells us all but society tells us it's the it's the right thing to do you should get married uh women always want a fairy tale and the way media media will put it out there you need to get married you need to have this fairy tale wedding social media is showing all these different fairy tales and things like that this is the way you should go and that's not really what it is. Um, times have changed, obviously. It's not the way it used to be. It's, relationships definitely aren't the way it, it, it used to be. Monogamy isn't what it used to be. And it's just... You're, you're lucky if you come across someone who, who's going to be monogamous with you. You know, who both of you guys are exclusive. But one thing she says in this interview is that She's, she's not fond of the idea of marriage because she basically says monogamy is just so boring. And she says she just can't see herself being 
being with someone for the rest of her life. It, at least, at least she hasn't come to that. She hasn't arrived at that place in her life that you can be with someone for the rest of your life. She says she does believe in you know monogamous relationship, which a lot of people do, a long term sharing your life with another person. But as with anything else, people get bored. And she says, this is the whole monogamy thing. This is what leads to cheating. This is what leads to violence. This is what leads to so on and so forth. I think Kanye has a, he says, a, is one of his, in one of his uh, songs, he goes, uh, love is plagued by, love is plagued by monogamy. I know this camera is just shaking because I'm holding it with my hand. Y'all, y'all pardon me. He said, love is plagued by monogamy. Um, it's off, it's off, uh, I think the intro track to watch the throne. I can't remember the exact title of it, but, um, there are people out there not married, been together for years and you hear, you hear about this all the time when they do eventually get married, they get divorced. They can be together for years and years and years. As soon as they get married, they end up getting divorced and you know, people always want to bring up the whole Oprah thing, so on and so forth, that it's possible. This paperwork, at the end of the day, and I, I talk about this over and over, if you're getting married just for a title, but everything else is in disarray, you're not finding And I got a video on this, which I'll probably attach it to this. If you're getting married for that reason, for a title, then you're getting married for the wrong reason. If you're getting married... And all your ducks aren't in a row, i.e. you don't you don't have a place to stay, you don't have a car, you don't really have a stable financial situation, but you get married for the title, it's completely wrong. A marriage, and I talked I've talked about this a lot in the past. A marriage at the end of the day should be two people that complement each other that are able to support each other and one person isn't raising the other or helping the other i mean not helping one person isn't pulling the entire load for this whole situation marriage is business and i think that's the one thing i agree with what uh brother polite has said if y'all if y'all are familiar with him you know you can look him up but he said marriage is business and i don't want to stray too far off the topic what i'm talking about with uh what with, what kalita was saying what Marriage is a business. And until you understand that, the success of what a marriage is to be, i.e., whether that be, for example, raising kids, um, being financially stable, passing down generational wealth. And that's that's the main key we especially in the black community, what we need to understand is that it is a business. And if you treat it like a business, you know, love love has to be there as well. But if you treat it like a business, you're setting your your children up and your progeny and everything else for success in the future to, the, to generate, to create generational wealth. Other than that, if you're just doing it off, you know, just because you think it's the right thing to do. No marriage is the divorce rates at an all time high. People are getting divorced left and right. Uh, just because they thought that this was the person without doing proper research. So in my eyes, there's nothing wrong with being in a long-term relationship. And some women will say, well, he hasn't married me yet and which is the only thing a man really is in control of at the end of the day he hasn't married me yet he um we're just we're just here uh i'm gonna read your comment in a second here miss mackie but we're just here uh wasting time but everything else may be cool bills may be getting paid uh families taken care of going on trips living your best life you know, but it's just that title that you want so badly. And when you get the title, it may not be cher cherished as such. Because there's so many married people out there that pretend they aren't married. And that that's for men and women. So, I, I believe that in a monogamous relationship, absolutely. Where it's something, just like she said, you can go forward. Um, but I think with experience, the older you get, it's not so much about marriage. It's about companionship. It's about having a good time. It's about enjoying your life rather than there's so many people who are married, stuck in a marriage that are afraid to leave, 
can't leave due to this paperwork, due to financial disaster that may come about due to it tearing families and ties apart and all these other, you know, all these other things that are in it. But there's so many people that are unhappy. And if you sit back and if you're that type of person or if you just want to do an experiment one day, just do some people watching. Just go go when you're out at eating at a restaurant or you're out at the mall or you see a married couple together. A lot of times you see them not even talking, you know, on their phones, reading newspaper, reading a book. They're just there. They're just coexisting with each other as glorified roommates. There may be, you know, sex on holidays, sex and not to say I'm in everybody's in everybody's bedroom, but you know, it's it a marriage, I get it, but companionship at the end of the day, I think the older you get, you you value those things. And if it's not there, you care more about your peace because you've been through the heartaches, you've been to, through the disappointments, you've been through the BS that life has uh not thrown at you, but basically what 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 you've come across with people. You're you're cool. If if somebody wants to spend time with you, that's cool. If they don't want to spend time with you, that's cool too. And you're you're perfectly fine um, with going on with your life. Uh, a lot of a lot of women in their forties and fifties, like I said, they when we're talking about women, don't care about marriage. They just want to want companionship at the end of the day. Want to have a good time, travel, see the world, so on and forth, so forth. The kids are out of the house, and they, they want to go down that down that uh that path again. So. I it, it was refreshing to hear this from a you know a woman like her to say these things and to basically say you know and I don't think she's ever been married but just basically say that's based off her experience and what she's come across that's just not for her and she articulated it very well the way you know her reasons for it and the way she sees it so I just think that's something and i'm not i'm not saying i'm anti-marriage i'm just saying these are some of the things the biggest issue for me obviously i've already been through it like a lot of people out there who may be watching this video when it comes time and another thing she was saying when it comes time when you try to go on about your business it's not that easy to go on about your business as if you were single and breaking up with somebody or or you want to move on they want to move on there's always going to be one person that's stuck and doesn't want to let go. Does is is wants to wants to stay in the relationship or wants to stay married. There's always going to be one person. There's never really an amicable split. Not to say it doesn't happen, but it's very rare. So, I think it's much easier, especially where the U.S. government is is structured it, with family court. It's they make it so difficult and it costs so much money to separate from someone when you really don't have to put yourself in that position by not getting married at all. So I don't know. I'm going to, um, let me know your all thoughts on this. I'm going to, um, I'm going to attach that her interview on here that she did. It was, a, I think it's like a six minute video and, uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Matter of fact, let me read Ms. Mac. I told Ms. Mackey I was going to read her, um, thing here. I haven't been. Okay. Here we go. My cousin just got married for the third time. For the title, she hustled to get a home for him to come to. She's the man of the marriage. He barely has a job, but she sees his potential. He's 53. I talk about this a lot, and I meant to do a... I forgot the girl's name. Her name is Sarah something. She she talked about this on a video, and I think it went viral on Facebook, about... And it's still my thoughts. I don't care who gets mad about it. It's still my thoughts that some some women would gladly take a man, and they would say they say, "Well, he's got potential," but they gladly take a man that they have the upper hand on, i.e., financially, as far as education, as far as you know, academically, things like that so that she can basically run the relationship she can kick him out when she sees fit um she can you know hold that over his head and you there's memes if, if you guys are on social media there's memes about you know 
women kicking men out and and I'm just like who are these men that have to rely on a woman for a place to stay you know what I mean that that that's crazy uh, and I and I wonder I'm like is it and, and for a woman in I'm going off on a tangent for women for you to lay down with a man that you have to take care of I think it's something you really have to examine yourself at this point and ask yourself what are you doing this is a man that has to move in with me. He doesn't have a place for me to stay. He has to move in with me. Um, I can kick him out when I get ready if he does something I don't like because he doesn't have his own place. And I'm going to brag about it. And I'm going to tell my girlfriends and put it on social media. You look like an idiot saying that. And as a man, you're in, you look like, I mean, I, you might call it finessing. But if a woman can kick you out of a place, you know, what, what's going on here? What, where are we going at as a country where, I mean, excuse me, as a people where we're depending on women for a place to stay in, some food to eat, a place to lay your head? It's, it's just ass backwards, man. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Picture me having, you know, depending on a woman for a place to stay. And I, like I... I don't want to get into the whole business point of it, and I don't want to veer off. Uh, I know I keep because I want to keep talking about this. Uh, I have no respect for that. <laughs> I didn't attend the wedding. I have no respect for that union. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's just it just comes down. What's that? Sarah Lena? I think that's her name. I don't know her name. Her name is Sarah Lena or something like that. She did a video on that, and she she it was very well articulated the way she just described because it, it forces as a woman it forces you not to level up. By dealing with the man that's beneath you, so to speak. When I say beneath you, I mean in terms of you're providing for him. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a place to stay. You're making more than him. You're more educated than him. It forces you at that point not to level up. You know, and it's kind of it's kind of sad that it's getting to that point of that. And I and I come across in the in the in the field of work that I'm in, uh, in real estate and credit. That is more women that are trying to push forward to better themselves while the man sits back. And once she gets the car or she gets the house, then he moves in. But I, I'll, I'll never understand that. I, not to say that I, I wasn't raised that way and I wasn't taught that way. I just, me of my own, you know, my natural affinity was never, was to be, was to do my own thing. It never was to depend on a woman to do anything for me. So... I don't know, man. That stuff is weird to me. Me as a man, I don't respect men like that. You know, so a woman, how can you, as a woman, how can you respect a man like that? You know what I mean? How can you respect a man like that? But that's neither here nor there. I digress, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry I talked so long and veered off the topic. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you guys like. I have some lime on my lip. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. That'll help out too. Uh, um, you know, I, I'm going to be... It was, it was another video I was going to do about something I saw earlier. But I'll get into that. Um, thanks for checking me out. If y'all want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, y'all see the links in the description. My website, if you're trying to get help with any of my other products or anything like that, hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace be upon you in the mercy and blessings of the Almighty, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.